Now then, my friends, any of you that's been to Tenerife will surely have seen the advertisements for full English breakfast. Full English breakfast, three euros fifty, or a big bad boy belly bursting breakfast for four euros fifty that will set you up for the day. And you've thought to yourself, hmm, maybe I would have been better off doing that than paying the extra £150 for breakfast in the hotel that, let's be honest, is a lot less desirable, what with a selection of cold meats, sour yogurts, and then, oh, that dreaded line, the dreaded queue for the toaster where you put your toast in there and you're waiting for 15 minutes for it to come round. And when it does come back round again, there's a thumbprint in it and you're wondering whether it's yours or the guy down the way there in his sock and crocs <laughs> well anyway we're going to find out whether it is actually worth it today because we're going to go to the world famous rum pot and we're going to go and test out their breakfast before we do that remember like subscribe click the little bell for notifications of when i upload new videos follow me on instagram and if you want some MacMaster merchandise that's down there as well but without further ado let's go Right, well, I am super hungry. It is uh, 11.30 and I've been past the rum pot and a lot of my uh, subscribers have said that this is a fantastic place, not just for breakfast, but also on an evening. I've passed it the other day. It's just here on my right and I am starving. Let's take a look. Okay, so it says you have to order at the bar and pay at the bar. There's no table service, so we're gonna go and do that now. Hi, oh, yeah, I love the full English breakfast and the, um, and, a, and a latte. Is it latte all right? Yeah, thank you. I am ready for this. All right, let's get rid of the ashtray first. We don't need that. Right, so I had the uh, breakfast, which was, uh, was it three euros fifty? Three euros? How much was the breakfast, sorry? Three. Three euros, three euros, thank you. So I had the breakfast for three euros and the, uh, the coffee, I think it was, uh, one euro something, but let's taste it, see whether it's nice. Yeah, that's nice. Oh yeah. It's better than a cost of that. Got my ketchup. Got my brown sauce. Now it's daddy's. It's not HP. 
are you a daddy's or HP? I'm going to put a link above. Should it be daddy's or should it be HP? Click the link above, let's have a little poll. Right, this is going to set me up for the day. Moments later. Oh, thank you very much. The, oh, the cutlery's in there, thank you. Wow. Right, this looks good. Take a closer look. Right, let's tuck into this, see what it's like. Let's get some daddies on. A little bit of ketchup. A little bit of salt. some pepper. Grab a knife and fork. Right, let's tuck in. Toast already buttered. No thumbprints in it. Hmm. Bacon's good, egg, perfect. There we go. Yeah, bacon's good. Sausage is really nice. Flies annoying. The only thing with being abroad is just flies if it's outside. They really wind me up. Right, everything's really nice. Gonna test the beans in a minute. Really good, right. I'm gonna eat this, then I'll give you my verdict. See you in a minute. That was really, really nice. Gotta say, for three euros, superb. Egg was done perfect. Um, got the uh, the beans were nice. Bacon, superb. A little bit of rind on it there. I left that. Um, the sausage, very nice. Um, not very gristly. The bacon either. It was really nice. Got my coffee, which is spot on. Daddy's sauce though. Could have done with HP. Not really a daddy's fan myself, but. You know, it's there, it's better than none. So I'm going to give it a... Hmm. I'm going to give it a... <clears throat> I'm going to give it an 8.4. An 8.4 out of 10. There you go. Really good. So if you're thinking of actually uh, coming to Tenerife and um, you're wondering whether to have breakfast at the hotel, my advice would be uh, no, not unless you want to waste 15 minutes at the uh, toaster.
I've never really uh, enjoyed breakfast at the hotels, to be honest. Apart from the Bougainville uh, player, that was really nice, I have to admit. But this, well worth it. So that's the world famous rum pot in uh, Costa, De excuse me, in Costa Adeki in Tenerife. I'm not going to edit that out because uh, in some countries it's a sign of appreciation that. <laughs> anyway, that's all from me today. Remember, like, subscribe, click that little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. Follow me on Instagram, which is down there. Get one of these Mac Master t-shirts if you want to support the channel. That's down there as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Oh, I could eat that again. Now then, my friends, any of you that's been to Tenerife will surely have seen all the advertisements for full English breakfasts. That's right, all you can eat full English breakfast, three euros fifty. Bad boy, big bad boy, belly bursting, big breakfast for four euros fifty. And you've thought to yourself, hmm, would I have been better off doing that than paying for breakfast in the hotel? That, let's be honest, can sometimes be a lot less desirable. What with a selection of cold meats and f sake, what's the matter with all this motor traffic? Now then my friends, any of you that's been to Tenerife will surely have seen all the advertisements for full English breakfast. Full English breakfast, three euros fifty, or a big bad boy belly bursting breakfast for four euros fifty. And you've often thought to yourself, hmm, is it worth actually getting the full English breakfast and saving myself a hundred and somebody else's here as well. Say, what is the matter with this?